Hmm, not very stellar shooting, you might think. And I would have to agree with you. But that's not the point of this video. Hello, YouTube, and welcome to Channel O. Today I thought I would show you a pellet trap that I made that seems to work very, very well. Last Christmas I bought myself a Benjamin Marauder pistol in 22 caliber and it shoots probably around around I don't know 800 feet per second and I get 16 to 18 foot pounds of energy out of that. It shoots great. It's a wonderful wonderful weapon. Uh, the only problem is it's very difficult to shoot inside because I couldn't find a proper backstop for it. So I got on the internet, as we all do, and I looked around for things. Um, the first one I got was a, a really heavy, nicely, professionally done, heavy gauge steel pellet trap, the kind that most of you are familiar with. It's got the 45 degree um, steel plate in the back that deflects the pellets downward into the trap. And that's real nice, but it's a big boxy thing and it makes a lot of noise. So I said, hmm, I think I can do better than that. So what I did was I looked on the internet some more and I found a product made in Britain um, and it is a, I guess, one foot by two foot kind of thing. Looks like a small picture frame and it's made out of wood and the wood's beautiful. So it could be oak, pick, a, pick a, a wood that you like. And anyway, it is lined with something called duct seal. And duct seal is this very, very dense clay. So the object is you line <coughs> the box with it and shoot it, and it traps the pellets. Well, the only downside with that is it's so pretty that you don't really want to shoot the edges. And it is, um, it's made out of wood. So you really can't stick it outside and leave it out because it won't handle the weather very well. So anyway, I kept on looking for what else I could do. And... I came up with this. This is basically a square D junction box. Um, I got it from Home Depot. It cost, I think, $33. And it comes with um, a bunch of electrical connectors on the inside. And also, there's another steel plate inside made out of something like this. It's not solid, but it, only, it has a small hole in it. Anyway, so I left that in the back. And then what I did was I went out to Home Depot again and bought all this stuff. This is duct seal. So there's about, I would guess, 10 to 12, maybe even 15 ingots of duct seal in this. Let me see if I can show you what duct seal looks like. This is duct seal. It costs three dollars a pound at Home Depot and you have to ask somebody where it is because um, half the new guys have no idea what you're asking for. The old guys can take you exactly to where it is. Anyway, it's called duct seal like I said. I've got about 15 ingots in here, maybe a little more. So you just pack it in there and smooth it out and it is a fantastic trap for any kind of pellets. I think I probably got, I don't know, I, I do have, I probably have an inch and a half or two inches layered in here. And every so often, you have to go in with a screwdriver or um, a needle nose plier and get these out. I mean, I, there's hundreds of pellets in here, 22s and 177s. It just works very, very well. Anyway, um, because of that, it, it weighs, I don't know, probably... 15 to 20 pounds, maybe even a little more than that. But the thing is, with this box, it's, it's very self-contained, and it closes up like that. Um, and the box comes with a little cap on it. There's a big hole here for electrical conduit. And there's a little cap on it that has holes for the cap. Well, you get rid of the cap, and now you've got these pre-drilled holes, and they are the exact size of a cabinet handle. So I went out, bought a cabinet handle, screwed it in with self-tapping lag screws, 
And now I've got it. I can put it anywhere in the house I want when I'm shooting inside, or I can take it outside, leave it out, not worry about the weather, and it sits. And it works very, very well. I have yet to shoot anything that comes anywhere close to going to the back. Um, I hope to get a, uh, a, a rifle for Christmas this year, um, a 22, it's called a Hatsan Vortex, and that will be the next test for this. But I have all the confidence in the world that nothing's going through this stuff. And like I said, you do have to clean it out every so often because they, especially if you're a good shot, and I'm not quite as bad a shot as that target shows I am, um, you, they just pile up in the center wherever you're aiming. So you have to dig them all out, and you got handfuls of lead, and you have to figure out what to do with that. Anyway, just thought I'd show you to summarize. Got the box at Home Depot. It's a square D box. Cost $33. The uh, putty cost $3 a, a pound, and I needed about 15 of them, maybe 12 to 15. And when you do it, when you finish with it, you've got a nice self-contained backstop for your targets. Um, I printed out these targets here. And you can stick them on, they'll kind of stick, but you can also put, a piece, put them on a piece of cardboard for a much straighter target. You know, it won't have wrinkles in it and stuff, and you can take better shots at it. So, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, and um, go out and make yourself a backstop. It works really well. So, just remember this, when you have a choice, take the high road.